What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a breakdown of the main content beats for this week's reset. And of course, it's the 30th of July, so we're pretty close to the middle of the episode at this point. And firstly, this week there will be some reveals for upcoming content, so we'll talk about what's worth knowing there. There'll also be a lot of farmable activities. We've got doubled Nightfall rewards. We'll talk about the Nightfall weapon, as well as featured exotics, raids, and dungeons. Plus, this week we will see the finale for the Act 2 part of the story for Echoes, so we'll speak about what that means new upgrades that we'll get access to, as well as the returning Perfect Paradox, which should drop this week, as we're going to get a hidden mission as part of the story. Plus, we've got some additional updates from Bungie, Bungie Bounties that'll be featured this reset, and a few other things to talk about. So, as always, guys, I hope you enjoy the video and find it useful. If you do, a rating below very much helps us out on the channel, but now let's get into it. And starting out, as far as we know, this week will be one of the very few weeks we've had since the launch of The Final Shape, where there actually won't be an update at reset, or at least Bungie haven't announced one, there's no maintenance, so we should have a pretty smooth reset, hopefully no server issues or any silliness, allowing us to get straight into the stuff for the week. Another note before we talk about actual content in the game, though, is that this week we will see the reveal for Solstice, as well as new previews for the mid-season update. So Bungie have said on Thursday they'll give us a preview of Solstice, as well as a look at the weapon tuning and armor adjustments coming in update 805, which is the mid-episode update which will be dropping next week. So that'll be on the 6th of August. We'll get the summer event, as well as a bunch of updates to the game. We've spoken about some of the updates Bungie have already announced, but I'll keep you posted on Thursday when we get even more details. Otherwise, getting into gameplay stuff for the week, this week's Nightfall will actually have double loot active, so we're going to see Exodus crash as the Nightfall, and we get bonus Vanguard ranks as well as Nightfall rewards. And according to the rotation, Warden's Law should be the featured weapon this reset, so if you're looking to get an adept version of that, or just as many roles as possible, it should be a good week to play. There's a small possibility that a different Nightfall weapon will somehow be featured, as those rotations seem to have been switching up a little bit, but Warden's Law is the one that's due, so let us know if you'll be diving into the Night Force for bonus rewards and things like that this week. And also, in relation to the Echoes content, if you're done leveling up on the Season Pass and you've acquired all the weapons from this part of the episode, much like some players did with Act 2 approaching, it is worth holding on to both the Engrams for Echoes, but also seasonal challenges and things like that, as turning them in at Season Pass rank 150 will basically lose that XP and we won't benefit from it in the next Act, so that's something to start thinking about now that we're a month out. But for the content this week itself, We've got Act 2, Part 3 of the story, so that's essentially the story finale for this act, and that will pick up again after August 27th. So hopefully there'll be some interesting revelations as part of the story. As always, there'll be quest steps at Failsafe. It looks like it will potentially be a slightly shorter quest than what we've seen in previous weeks, with the exception of a mission that we'll have to head into with Same 14. So that'll be cool. And in terms of reward, Perfect Paradox appears to be one of the rewards for this week's quest steps. So after we complete that mission, we return to Saint in the hangar. And according to the database, he should be giving us the Perfect Paradox. Taking a quick look at the updated roles for this weapon, in the first trade slot, we're able to get Field Prep, as well as Jewel Loader, Pugilist, Threat Detector, and then there is Slide Shot, as well as Threat Remover. And Threat Remover is a new one this season, where dealing damage with all bullets in the spread increases reload speed, handling, and stability. Then slot 2 can get Trench Barrel, which is nice, as well as Swashbuckler, 1-2 Punch, and then there is Opening Shot, Vorpal Weapon, and Barrel Constrictor. So there are a few different options to go after there. Obviously, Pugilist as well as Trench Barrel, Swashbuckler, or 1-2 Punch has a bit of synergy. Obviously, there are things like Jewel Loader and Field Prep if you want those ammo bonuses. And then Threat Detector, Slide Shot, and Opening Shot in the second slot, of course, are decent PvP bonuses. But this is a Rapid Fire Frame Shotgun, so a lot of folks will want to use it in PvE. And it comes with the Cast No Shadows Origin trade as well, alongside the other seasonal weapons, where dealing melee damage increases the weapon's handling and loads a small amount of ammo from reserves. So especially the sort of melee focus bonuses here have a lot of synergy, but let us know what you'll be going after on the Perfect Paradox, as once we've picked it up from that quest, it will unlock into the loot pool. Otherwise, there will be another failsafe upgrade quest this week in the form of Nest 06. So that'll be all the quest steps, upgrades, and weapons introduced as part of Act 2. And once again, August 27th is when we'll get the next batch of content, outside, of course, of the mid-episode update and Solstice next week. Otherwise, in the game this week, 
though, Starcrossed is the featured exotic mission, so if you never picked up the Wishkeeper, or if you still need to get any of the upgrades for it, that activity will be farmable for all of those unlocks. And other farmable activities include the Last Wish Raid, of course there's a pretty juicy legendary loophole there, as well as the 1000 Voices, which will be entirely farmable from the boss checkpoint. Then there's Spire of the Watcher for the featured dungeon, so again, in that mode, all of the legendary loot and the exotic, which is the hierarchy of needs, will be completely farmable this week. So alongside the Nightfall, if you are still catching up with any of those rewards, there is a decent amount of farmable content this week. Otherwise, outside of our normal weekly content, there are still some bungee bounties taking place, and you can see in that middle row some of the featured creators for the next week. So. If you're still working on trying to hunt down any bungee bounties and unlock the emblem, be sure to go after my good friend Grandad Gaming if you can. But if not, there's a pretty good lineup with a bunch of different sort of regions. So I'll link Bungie's article down below that has more details on the bounty timings and things like that. But for today, that's what we have to speak about. I'll be keeping you posted as always with Bungie's updates throughout the week, especially that new information that we'll get on Thursday. So keep it locked and loaded here on the channel, get subscribed and turn on notifications so that I can keep you up to date. Also, let us know any stuff you're planning to get done in the game this week or juicy roles that you're after on the perfect paradox but otherwise for now i very much appreciate you all tuning in and i hope you guys have an awesome day i hear it still the witness is dead from that victory something new emerged at first we didn't know what to call them but Echo seemed apt. You won't be alone. We're sending our best. I was once the Vax's greatest opponent. I should remind them. see him shaken up like that. He's always so strong. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Uploaded, judged, and eliminated. I will be ready.